In this quick video, I'll be showing you how project managers using SharePoint with EPM Live can leverage the power of Microsoft Project to build and manage both simple and complex schedules. From the project workspace, project managers can simply click on the Task tab, and from within the Task Center, click, click on Actions and Edit with Microsoft Project. With the, within EPM Live, you can either leverage pre-built Microsoft Project templates or a blank project plan. In this demo, I'll be using a blank project plan. Let's go ahead and open Microsoft Project in edit mode. Now that we have Microsoft Project open, I can simply start building out my schedule. Let's go ahead and enter some simple tasks. To save time, I'm going to paste the list of tasks that I've predefined using Microsoft Excel. Now that I have my list of tasks, I'm going to go ahead and build out my WBS structure. I'm going to select a few tasks here and indent them under the summary tasks. Now that I built out my WBS structure, I'm going to go ahead and enter in some quick estimated durations. So five days for gathering requirements, 10 days for documenting the processes, 10 days for documenting the system specification, 20 days to do the configuration, 5 days to build the custom reports, another 5 days to test the system, 3 days to provide the training, and obviously we got our milestone at the end. So now that I've entered in my estimated durations, I'm going to go ahead and link some dependencies across these tasks. Now I can see a simple work breakdown structure with estimated start date and finish date. Now I may want to take it another step and start assigning resources to this simple project plan. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just enter in some generic local resources. For example, uh, we'll just go ahead and say Steve Masters is going to be doing the requirements and documentation. So we'll go ahead and enter in Steve Masters. Adam Barr will be doing the configuration and testing. Not sure who will be doing the custom report, so we'll just go ahead and put a generic resource in there. So, put Adam Barr here. And Scott Bishop will be doing our training. Now that we've built our simple project plan, the next step here is to publish this plan out to the team members that are using SharePoint with EPM Live. Let's go ahead and publish this project schedule. Let's go ahead and click on Project Publisher and Publish. So the first step into publishing a project plan is selecting the appropriate project attributes. These attributes become important when it comes to portfolio reporting. This will allow executives to group projects for reporting in different ways. Let's go ahead and fill out a couple of these attributes. So for example, the owner, Steve Masters, Project type is an enhancement project. We can also enter in an estimated budget, estimated revenue, or, or potential ROI. We'll go ahead and click OK. Now the next step is to map your Microsoft Project local resources to the resources in EPM Live. The resources that are listed here on the left are in the EPM Live resource pool, and the resources here on the right are resources that are in this local Microsoft Project plan. So what we're going to go ahead and do is map these resources. I'm going to go ahead and map the developer. And we have obviously Steve Masters. So now what we've done is we've taken resources that are in SharePoint and EPM Live and mapped them to resources that are in the Microsoft Project file. So now we'll go ahead and click OK. Now that we've successfully published our Microsoft Project Plan, we can send an email to all team members notifying them that they have been assigned to this project and they have tasks that need to be completed. We're going to go ahead and say no for now. And now we're going to close our project schedule.
refresh our workspace task center. Now we can see our project schedule published out to SharePoint and EPM Live. We can also switch this view to a Gantt chart so we can see the schedule in a graphical view. Go ahead and go to Actions, View, and Gantt. With, the, with this dynamic Gantt chart, we can actually zoom in, zoom out, so we can get a better idea of the schedule. We can collapse and expand the different phases or uh, summary tasks within, within the schedule. And we also can see both critical and non-critical tasks within the schedule. If needed, users can choose different views to see additional information in the plan. For example here, I might want to look at my tracking view. So by simply clicking on tracking view, the view will change. And now we can see the additional information that we need to see around tracking the project schedule. Now these views that are created in EPM Live use the out-of-the-box SharePoint uh, creation technique. In my next video, I'll be showing you how team members can go to their My Work views and update the appropriate status on their tasks, and then have project managers review, approve, or reject, and then update that status automatically back into their Microsoft project plan.